everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on Agile's it's Agile Tester Certification. We are looking at Chapter 3 and we are still in 3.3 .3 Techniques in Agile Projects. We'll be continuing with the last topic of this segment that is 3.3.4 Exploratory Testing in Agile Testing. So here in the previous tutorial as we were talking about the test design techniques we understood about exploratory and not only that we also spoke about the same thing when we were talking about the foundation level certification and we have already explored to a certain extent about exploratory testing and it will be uh, very common to be used as a part of agile testing. So let's look into more about the same thing. When you talk about exploratory testing, it is generally used in terms of when you don't have the test basis in terms of like formally documented details. Uh, you talk about the formal documentation like specifications or detailed inputs or sometimes you don't have enough time to do that formal way of designing test cases and executing them. So when it really comes to Agile, we actually fall into that category where we understand that the time is limited with us and we have quick uh, sprints happening across and at the same time we also understand that the documentation are minimal so we cannot expect a detailed documentation which can help us to prepare efficient or enough number of test cases and that's why we say that agile is inherently exploratory testing so it's mainly that the exploratory testing is being conducted as a part of agile a lot so let's understand more over the foundation to understand that how exploratory testing is more useful and helpful in agile testing. So when it comes to exploratory testing further, we know that it is uh, something, a uh, type of approach where generally we don't make use of any certain test cases which are uh, properly designed using techniques and other things and then we execute them and document the results and so on. Here we do some kind of you know interaction with the product without any kind of orientation because that is a different approach could lead to more type of uh, you know different defects or sometimes can lead you to find something which is unique about which can the techniques cannot find and moreover it just helps you to save your time because you would be having limited time to be interacting with the product and you can just explore everything well within that time so let's understand more about what can be included as a part of exploratory testing here when you talk about the test charter it's one of the document which can be used as a part of exploratory testing to generally document what activities are taking place and what other relevant details with that exploratory testing are so we generally include some of the fields like what a, who is the actor that means the person who is interacting with the product the tester purpose why are you conducting this what would be the achievement what would be the object to which will be met setup what kind of environment do you need to do the same job priority whether because we might have different exploratory tests so you need to prioritize which exploratory test will be conducted first reference if you have anything specific like user stories or any risk information to be referred before execution if in case you are having any kind of data input involved then the data would also be assisting you activities a list of ideas of what the actor may want to do so all the steps uh, in brief like in a very logical way will be uh, written in a very short manner and oracle notes which are the quick notes that what do you experience when you are interacting with the product which would be really important for you to justify somebody that what exactly happened when you were interacting with the product during the exploratory testing and variations which are like alternative actions and evaluations to complement the ideas described under activities that how did you really do and what were the deviations and variations from that so generally test charter will be like a log sheet which generally contains all the information about your test session generally the test session basically uh, the approach of executing exploratory testing is called as test session so we know this from foundation level anyways if you have any query you can comment below further to manage exploratory testing a method is called as session based test management which generally i was talking about right now is test uh, session can be used. A session is defined as an uninterrupted period of testing which could last from 60 minutes to 120 minutes. That means a test session would be in between 1 to 2 hours of time depending on the size of the module allocated to you and it could be limited to 120 minutes. That means you don't go longer than 2 hours to interact and just waste your time. So what generally test, and uh, test sessions include? Uh, it could be in, in a way of survey session that means you just interact with the product and try to understand how it works which could be another way of finding defect analysis session 
to evaluate the functionality or the characteristics which will be core functional way and deep coverage for example like considering specific boundary values uh, decision conditions or a statement coverage or any kind of things like that could be a deep coverage way where you specifically target certain areas and on the certain set of approach and you test it further the quality of the test depends on testers ability so if you remember from foundation we set the criteria that the basis for exploratory testing is experience of the tester as well because if you're asking a fresher to do exploratory testing for you then he or she might not be having that intensity to understand that what kind of product are we testing what could be the typical behavior what might go wrong so that that understanding is required to be there so yes it depends on the tester's ability to ask relevant questions about what to test and examples include what is most important to find out in the system in what way may the system fail that means you can try with a negative approach as well negative testing what happens if we try with a different scenario or try with another data input what should happen when i press this button or click on this way or move from that side to this side our customer needs important and expectations fulfilled that whatever the requirements were met or not is the system possible to install in all supported upgraded parts so that is extensive case if you are including that you can basically certainly create such kind of questionnaire which will be answered during the exploratory test so make sure that make use of such things to have a good uh, you know genuine response after your execution is performed at the end uh, we are talking about some important uh, you know parameters to be considered as a part of exploratory testing let's see what we have got here it is important for the tester to document and process as much as possible that means we try to keep it as minimal as possible but at the same time we also say that try to make as short notes as possible so that it can be at least explained to somebody that what your key observations were otherwise it would be obviously difficult to go back and see how a problem in the system was discovered like reproducibility of a defect would be difficult job so here are a few of the things to be considered like a following list provides example of information that may be useful to document what is that test coverage that could be in terms of like how many test cases were executed how many of them passed how many test cases were covering the user story basically evaluation notes that what observations did you have during the exploratory session whether the feature which you were targeting has been covered or has any kind of defects if it is defect what kind of defect what happened in you know, next step after that if you move into that so you know, all these kind of observations will be created in short notes then risk and strategy list which risk have been covered what more has to be done so you can create another scenario to do the same or maybe include in the upcoming exploratory session issues questions and anomalies like what kind of issues do you have it will be further you know discovered or got into the detail to understand that how this defect can be resolved and many other things if you have any queries the system was behaving uh, unwantedly against the requirements then how can you overcome such things if there were data which were not supporting you then the test environment failure or any such thing could be there actual behavior recording of course the capture of the actual result is equally important to be saved so that you can compare the expected and actual after the session gets over which would be really important for you to address people that what is your achievement during this testing period so i this all this all from this particular tutorial team should be fine to understand this context if you have anything else please feel free to comment below i'm always there to assist your queries and answer your comments as early as possible so till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team happy learning